I'm so glad you're joining me for a little afternoon fun. It's summer, things are kind of winding down, it's hot outside. You don't want a stressful DIY. This is something simple you can do using things you may already have around the house. It's an armature, it's a background, and it keeps you from getting paint on the other side of the shirt because the paint will bleed, and then, well, that won't look very good. So we did that, simple, simple. Just want to tape together, it doesn't have to be perfectly perfect, because no one's gonna see that. It's going inside of your shirt. So we're gonna take this cardboard armature, and we're gonna slide it into our shirt that's been pre-washed, and I ironed it so there's no rankles. Once you have it placed, you're just going to trace around your bowls very gently with your pencil. You're just wanting to make, basically make a little mark so that you have a plan for the placement of your circles. And again, these are very organic, so it doesn't have to be perfectly perfect. In fact, the imperfection is part of the charm. But if you start with a perfect circle, it's easier to make an imperfect circle. Does that make sense? I feel like if you start without it, you just end up with something really weird. All right, so we're just gonna keep tracing. I've traced this one. I've got this one, I'll trace and I'll move them all around and then we'll get started painting. So I finished my first kind of organic circle. You can see it's not perfectly round and that's okay. I'm gonna move on to the next and we'll just keep adding our colors, coloring in our circles until we're finished. I finished all the dots and here they are. And you can see just these big crazy oversized dots in these wonderful colors. We're gonna let this dry overnight and then I'm gonna come back at it. And I think I'm either gonna add some little like black, repetitive sort of accents, or maybe paint splatters, or maybe some other shit. I just think it needs one more thing, and maybe I'm wrong. So we'll see where we are in the morning when it's dry. We'll find out together. You just take the brush, and then make your marks. So there's no real method to this madness. I just added little clusters of these black slashes. You can see they're kind of in rows that alternate. But I'm good, I like the way this turned out. All right, we're gonna try it on and see how it looks as soon as it's dry. Thanks for watching, I'm Margot Potter. You can find me at margopotter.com and theretrofab.com and you can find plaid at plaidonline.com and find all the things you need to make this project at your local craft store. Stay crafty people, see you later.